I am going to tell you exactly how I began my journey in the high society and it actually all started here in Rome where I am right now. First of all apologies for this sound it might be a little bit windy as I record this and also the fact that I'm wearing sunglasses but literally it's so bright here that I can barely keep my eyes open so I'm just going to keep the sunglasses on as I tell you this little story about when I lived in Italy. When so as you guys might see I am currently in Rome. Rome, Italy, what an amazing place to be. So much history, so much beautiful scenery. This is definitely one of my favorite cities in the world and I happen to have lived here when I was 19 years old. So Rome was actually the place that was the beginning of my jet setting journey. Um, when I was 19, I finished high school and um, I, uh, I was living in Sweden. I grew up in Sweden for those of you who don't know. And as soon as I was done with high school there, I had planned to leave the country ASAP because I knew that there was no future for me in my own country. Even though Sweden and Stockholm is quite developed, but I just felt something inside me that there was nothing, nothing there for me that was really going to take me to where I wanted to be. So when I was growing up, I had never like any plans that I wanted to become like this kind of jet setter or um, create like a more luxurious lifestyle for myself. I just really knew that I wanted to um, travel a lot, see what's out there and kind of just explore world and take it from there. But then I decided that I wanted to go to Italy and I decided on Italy because I had been to Italy before with my parents and my parents spoke so highly about it. So I thought that Italy is a perfect place for me to kind of start my adult years because don't forget I was 19. I didn't really know anything. I was green. I, I had no experience. So I decided on Rome and what I did was that I, I didn't really have any money to uh, support myself or I was never gonna really ask my parents for money so instead I actually took a student loan and took a one-year Italian language course in Rome <laughs> so that decision was what really put me on the jet set map this decision of okay I'm going to leave my country behind I'm going to take this one year and let's see what happens after and uh, I don't know anybody where I'm going but I'm gonna do it anyway because I don't want to wait for life to happen. I need to create life because life is not gonna wait for me. And of course, uh, everybody always asks me, so how come you went to Italy all by yourself? Weren't you scared? Weren't you worried? Why didn't you go with friends? And this is the thing, like nobody of those people who I grew up with or those who I knew back then, nobody wanted to go travel. Nobody wanted to do really anything. People were like hesitating between like, oh, maybe I should like continue study after. Mm, yeah, maybe I will just go and like study some course at university. And I just felt like, but why? Why should I go to university and like kind of waste my time, like study something that I'm not really gonna use? Because obviously back then I was 19, I still didn't know what I really wanted to do with my life. I mean, how many people in that age do actually know what they want to do? Not many. Um, usually what happens is that people either end up in a job they don't like because they make a decision when they're 19 or they end up changing the route later. So I knew that I was not mature to take a decision what I wanted to do with my career life. So I felt like for me, it totally made sense to go traveling. So traveling I went <laughs> and ended up in Rome. So anyway, I took this student loan and uh, thank God I live in the country or lived, lived in Sweden where they're very generous with giving you student loans and they encourage people to travel, they encourage people to study languages and that type of thing. So, so that really worked out in my benefit. So uh, I went to Rome and I still remember so clearly, even though it was such a long time ago, my first impressions and my first kind of, my first days even. 
I, I can really even remember clearly my first 24 hours it was such a rush you know being in this foreign country all by yourself you don't know anybody your parents are not there nobody's there you don't know anybody and that's when I really realized I'm like oh my god I don't know anyone here I don't know anybody I am free as a bird like I can be whoever I want to be I can do whatever I want to do there is no rules for me like like really the world is my oyster so I think having that in mind really opened up myself a lot meaning that I became very outgoing and I was really not afraid so people would feel very like maybe um, timid they would maybe go inside themselves me okay I didn't know anybody so what did I do when I arrived to Rome I went just walking every day all by myself just walking walking sitting in cafes uh, um, sitting on park benches sitting on benches like you know stupid things but you know what that actually made me start talking to people random people I spoke to tourists I spoke to expats I spoke to Romans I spoke to people uh, who were in the same position as me really that's how easy it was <laughs> just by being by yourself just by being outgoing just by having the courage of not hiding somewhere but just taking yourself and putting kind of yourself on the map so that was my first beginning in Rome that was like my baby steps and thank God for those baby steps because I did make friends after like two weeks after two weeks in Rome I already had loads of friends to go out with I even made a few friends in my school in my language school but you know it was just like a domino effect you walk around you go to a few places even if it's just by yourself you start talking to people or people start talking to you and if you are not rude if you if you don't have bad energy if you're not a close boring person then you will attract people and that's really what what happened for me and that's what really put me on the map in Rome even when I was 19 years old zero experience no plan all by myself and it worked out and I met so many friends and uh, not only that did I make so many friends it was the beginning of uh, my path towards what I teach to you right now luxury lifestyle jet setting I had no plan whatsoever that I was gonna you know become a jet set babe or try and like social climb and try and meet wealthy people or meet a wealthy man or anything I had zero plans like that at all I was a bit naive I was a bit innocent and for me it was just all let's see what happens and uh, I was more of a yes sayer than a no sayer so I think that kind of helped me a lot as well so of course what happened well I started I made a few girlfriends not really Italian girlfriends because Italian girlfriends they tend to not really want to socialize too much with the foreigners so I made a lot of uh, expat friends girlfriends there's a lot of American girls in uh, Rome so I made friends with them there's a lot of language students here so I made friends with those, those became my friends. A lot of international people, girlfriends, um, male friends. I actually made a lot of Italian male friends, but <laughs> looking back at it, listen, I'm not really sure they were really my true friends, male friends. I'm sure they were just like hitting on you, but you're not really realizing it. <laughs> I made some friends to be able to, um, you know, go out and party a little bit. And that's what I did, you know, I went out to the clubs every year almost every day I know but I mean listen I was 19 what does a 19 year old want to do of course go out and party and back then I didn't used to drink any alcohol so but I used to love to dance so I used to go out to all the clubs and dance and just like really enjoy myself and never drink so I lost so much weight I think I've never been more skinny than when I used to live in Rome I was so skinny so I used to be out in these clubs every night and also that makes you start getting to know people. I started to get to know like people who work in the nightclub industry and I actually started working a little bit myself at these nightclubs with like doing hostessing. So that really brought in some spare income which I was like super happy about but at the same time it also made me um, get this opportunity to meet people. And I quickly, I guess I always had this instinct that I really enjoy being surrounded with wealthy people in luxurious settings. 
um, perhaps living a luxurious lifestyle. So as I was in Rome, I kind of seeked myself naturally towards that direction. I wanted to go towards where the classy people were, where the elegance were, where people were well dressed. I didn't want to go towards the people or the crowd where people were like drinking beer and sitting on the pavements. you know what I mean? I really wanted to have a more of a classy experience. So subconsciously, even though I was only 19 years old and didn't know that much about life, I still seek that out. So I started to go to these type of places in Rome and as you go there, you know, you're, you're a woman and you're young and you're outgoing and you're having a good time and you know, that, that, that puts attention on you and if you have a good, like, good vibe about yourself, people notice you. And that's when I met my first boyfriend in Rome, a very rich kid, <laughs> come from a very high-end um, old money family. So I met him in the nightclub and we were just like, I think we met at, around the bar or something. We just started talking to each other and he was very like handsome, good looking, you could see for miles that he had money. But like I wasn't really paying so much attention to that. I was very innocent back then. Um, I'm still innocent by the way. <laughs> no, but now I just have more experience. So I kind of know the game better, but back then I didn't really have, I didn't really care. But so we started seeing each other and we had an amazing time together and he was really the one who opened up the doors for me towards the jet set life, towards the luxury lifestyle. He showed that world to me because I didn't really know anything about that world before. Of course I had experienced a little bit of that in Sweden before I, I moved abroad but other than that I was foreign to it. I was, I was like a new kid on the block. Um, new kid on the block without a plan, you know, so he really took me under his wing We did so much fun together. We traveled together We we you know, we were like inseparable, you know in the beginning and uh, it was like an amazing time it was like truly a super nice Italian romance and uh, I still like look back at it with a smile, but he really showed me that world. He introduced me to so many of his, you know, wealthy friends and sh we went to some really amazing places together and uh, I was like, wow, this world is amazing. This world is crazy. And he was really taking good care of me. You know, he was spoiling me with gifts. He was treating me really well, a true gentleman, even though he was more or less my age. I mean, I was 19 and I think he was 22. But he was educated on that level that for him it was second nature, you know, because he comes from a family like that. So after having had that treatment, I really understood that, okay, <laughs> this is pretty good and it's gonna be difficult for me to go back to something else after. So that's kind of, that was actually what was really the beginning of uh, how I became who I am today. And what I mean by that, who I am today, is that a person who has an interest in the finer things in life, a person who knows that I can achieve a certain level of lifestyle, and a person who actually goes for that. And you know, what, the reason why I teach women about this and why I wanna encourage more women to kind of help themselves in this world, and if they are inclined towards the finer things in life, then just go after that. Because the truth is, it is accessible to everybody, but not everybody's going to go after it. This lifestyle presented it by itself for me, and that's how I took the opportunity to pursue it even after, because obviously me and this guy, we broke up, you know, it didn't last too long. We were seeing each other for a few months, maybe. I don't, I don't even remember. But after, after being with him, I just knew that this is, this is exactly the direction I wanna go. And I know I can achieve it, I've had it already, and I know I probably can even do better. And as I uh, started evolving in the kind of high society environment, I met a lot of girls who were like f much further ahead than me, because I was just a beginner back then. I didn't understand anything. And these girls, you know, they, I, I saw what, how much they were getting out of this lifestyle. They were living really the good life. They were so well taken care of, etc. And I was telling myself, I'm like, wow, well, if they can do it and, you know, they come from all kinds of backgrounds and they, not all of them are like supermodels, then I will be able to do this myself. But I knew that there was some form of formula behind it because how come not everybody's doing it then? 
So that was 13 years ago when I first started all of this and uh, it feels super nostalgic being here right now. So the whole point with this story is that I really want to encourage people to go outside their comfort zone and change countries if necessary. I personally feel if I didn't change country, um, if I didn't go to Italy, if I was still in Sweden, like I would not be where I am right now. I would have not have experienced as many incredible things as I have during these 13 years that really put me on the map of where I am today and where I actually wanted to end up. I know a lot of girls are like maybe living in smaller cities, maybe they are in places that won't really take them far. And I don't really say that everybody has to be in a very big city or be like in London, Paris, New York, but it's definitely good to travel and really good to try and at least live once in a city that is not your own and perhaps and preferably a bit of a bigger city than perhaps the one you're used to because it really makes so much difference and it just makes you change so much as a person it's, I can't describe what it is it really forces you to be the person you really should be it really forces you to be more outgoing and uh, live in the now and really grab opportunities that are offered to you right here right now we are just too much in a safe bubble when we are in our comfort zone and that's why life doesn't really evolve so much when we're just like living in our city and you know years go by so girls often ask me well do i have to relocate in order to become a jesse babe in order to create an affluent life for myself well no, yes or no, it depends. It really depends on your circumstances, but most importantly, it depends how much effort are you willing to make where you are right now. Because if you just like transfer yourself from to a different place, you are going to see that you might end up making so much more effort than being super comfortable in the couch at home. What happened after drum? Well, I did the jet setting here and really I started doing actually quite well towards the end of my journey here. I was only here for one year. But in the end, I just got a bit fed up of the city and uh, I wanted to go to Ibiza so <laughs> because I heard the Italians speak so much about Ibiza. So I managed to find a job in Ibiza and just relocated. But that's a different story for a different video. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you like this little story time of mine. Please do subscribe if you're into luxury lifestyle and the finer things in life. So if you have any questions with regards to me and my experience in Rome, how I first started jet setting, etc., do leave a comment. Or if you have any suggestions of future videos, do leave a comment for that too. I see you in the next video. Bye from me and bye from Rome. <laughs>